In this lesson, we'll learn a couple of different ways that we can tile an image into our textures. Okay, great. So I've got the Lesson 2 Begin Mari Archive open here. If you want to open that up and follow along, it's in your project files. So when it comes to creating textures for an asset, uh, the ability to tile an image edge to edge as part of your textures is a pretty important part of a texture artist's pipeline. So I want to show you a couple of different ways that we can do that here inside of Mari. Um, now if we kind of take a look at this asset, this is the head from our transforming robot, and you can see here kind of his head has texture, and his neck is missing its texture. So uh, I'm going to use my selection tool here in patch selection mode, and let's go ahead and select his neck first here. And if we right click and go to visibility, we can hide the unselected and that way we're just looking at his neck here now the first way I want to show you how we can begin to tile an image is using the paint through tool now the paint through tool is right here the keyboard shortcut for that is U. and if we were to come in here and just kind of zoom in basically what this will allow us to do if you come over here to your image manager palette uh, if that's not open you can simply right click on your uh, toolbars up there and come over here to image manager there we go so what this paint through tool allows us to do is simply grab one of these textures let's say this metal zero one and drag it over to our canvas now I'm going to go ahead and right click here and in my display properties I'm going to turn on my heads up display so you can see the keyboard shortcuts that are associated with this particular tool so um, you can see here I can hold shift and I can uh, sort of translate this texture around I can hold control and shift and I can begin to shrink that thing down and we can do some things with opacity, uh, with rotating, holding just control, um, things of that nature. But um, one important thing that you should also remember about this is we can hit Shift Plus and Shift Minus to adjust the opacity of that image preview. So if I turn this up, you can see here that this is just kind of a generic metal texture, um, and it's going to be a good base for the texture that maybe we want to put on this on this neck for this character. Now this is a tileable image. Um, a typical workflow would be you pull out Photoshop and sort of um, work an area of an image over until it's able to be tiled. Um, now we can actually utilize this tileable image with the paint through tool, um, but you want to make sure and come up here into the uh, painting or the paint through tools tool properties and tap that repeat button there. So with that repeat button checked, I can come in and we'll just zoom in a little more on that. And I can take this, and let me just hit shift minus to drop the opacity a little bit. And I can begin to paint this texture in, just like so. Now if that texture is still a little bit large, uh, let me just control shift C to clear my paint buffer. And we'll shrink the image down a little bit, holding control and shift. And because that repeat option is turned on, you can see here as I begin to paint into areas that uh, the image is not overlapping, Mari is tiling that image for us. So we're able to come in and get kind of this nice base metal texture down. Now this is uh, one way that we can begin to tile an image. Um, if we just wanted to be able to tile this image sort of like this, um, we could come in and begin to paint just like so and move this image around and just paint and Mari's going to continue to tile this image sort of in the background uh, anywhere that we paint. Let me go ahead and bake that down really quickly. Um, now you can see here that it actually applied that texture in several places. If we come over here and look you can see that this is actually um, overlapping UVs for the neck portion of this asset. So um, let me show you yet another way that we can do this. So um, rather than using the paint through tool, I'm going to come over here into my channels. Let me open up the layer stack for my diffuse. Just pull that guy over here. And I'm going to actually come in here and let me grab my paint tool with P on my keyboard. And I'm just going to paint in this gray color. So I'll just sample this, and we'll just paint over that image that we've just projected. Just sort of kind of hit the reset button here. And we'll go ahead and bake that down with a B key. 
All right, fantastic. So another way that we can do this is by using a procedural layer here inside of Mari. So um, if we come over here inside the diffuse layer stack for uh, this particular asset, I can come over here and tap this button right here at the bottom of our layers pa uh, palette. So um, let me just come over here. I'm going to unsnap this. So you can exactly see where I'm going to here. It's not being cut off. I want to tap this button right here, come down to procedural and pattern. And we're going to plug in a tiled procedural. Now this is going to create a new layer right here. So um, you can see here if I were to come in and just kind of stretch these out so we can see some of the settings down here below. You can see that we have a spot to plug in an image to tile here. So one thing to keep in mind when using uh, a tiled procedural, or really any procedural for this matter, on this particular asset, this tiled procedural will be applied everywhere. So it's going to be applied on his head too. Um, I'll show you how to fix that here in just a moment, but if we were to come over here to our image manager, if your palette, by the way, keeps disappearing, just tap that little button in the top left hand corner and that'll pin it down. So in my image manager, I'm going to grab metal 01 here and just simply drag that over and you can see here how that is being tiled in the background on top of this asset just like so. Now there are some options that we can utilize inside the tiling uh, of this particular uh, procedural layer. So if we scroll down you can see here we have a rotation angle. We can begin to kind of rotate that texture sort of like that. Uh, we can come in and we can adjust the number of repeats in both the U and the V for the texture. So uh, by default it should be set to 1 for both of those, but maybe we want this texture to be a bit smaller. So let's set it to maybe 3. Now you can see by changing it in the U and not the V, it ends up stretching the texture out. So um, if that's not your intention, then make sure that you adjust both the U and the V for this particular procedural. So um, we have uh, the ability to offset it in both the U and the V. So you can see here, I can begin to kind of shift that in either one of those. And then we can also mirror the texture in either the U or the V here as well. All right, fantastic. So this is another uh, basic way that we can begin to um, sort of tile an image across our assets and maybe a base for our, for our textures. Now really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And if I just right click and under visibility, we choose show all. And you'll again see that again, this procedural layer has covered up all of the diffuse for our character's head. So we would need to go ahead and drop a mask onto this layer, so we can do that with this button here. Just like so, and we'll select that mask. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and select the head patch right here. And with that mask selected here, we'll just come up to Patches, Fill, and let's go ahead and fill that with black, just like so. All right, fantastic. So you can see that mask has basically limited the area that this particular procedural layer can uh, affect. Uh, and you can see th the result is that we have this metal texture on his neck. Now, the last thing I want to show you about this is, uh, again, this is a procedural layer. This is not a paint layer. All of this paint for his head is on this paint layer. You can see that icon right there. This procedural layer is a little different, so we can't actually paint on this tiled layer here. Now we do have the ability to convert this tiled procedural into a paintable layer though. Let's come over here and right click on that guy and just simply come down and you can see there's an option here to convert to paintable. If we were to select that here, you'll see that that tiled procedural layer now is a paint layer. Our mask is preserved, but now at this point we can come in and we could begin to paint if we needed to. I'll just go ahead and grab my paint tool and by hitting the P key, we'll use the J key to bring up our color pop-up. Just choose a red color here. And you can see, if I go ahead and hold S and select that, we can now paint on top of that tile procedural. So this is very similar to rasterizing uh, that procedural or flattening it, um, depending on what application you're coming from. But we do have that ability. Uh, and really, ultimately, depending on kind of what you're going for in terms of a look, um, it may be faster for you to just use a tile procedural to lay down your seamless texture.
All right, fantastic. So in this lesson, we've learned a couple of different techniques for tiling images as part of our textures here inside of Mari.